Did you hear that sound? Fireworks will fill the night sky starting as soon as next weekend as Independence Day celebrations kick off in DFW. You know, it's hard to believe, but it's really time to start planning for this year's 4th of July festivities. All the parades and concerts and fireworks for Independence Day. Just one week from today, AAA says millions of Texans will start traveling to those top spots to celebrate the holiday. Uh, joining us right now is Stephanie Almond mary from Culture Map to share some of the best local spots that will go all out to have a good time. Good morning to you, Stephanie. Hey, good morning, Clea. Great to be here today. Glad to have you. You know, it's not just our imagination. Are celebrations happening even earlier this year? Yeah, Cleo, it's not your imagination. Uh, they are happening earlier this year, and here's why. The fourth actually falls on a Thursday, creating a long weekend when a lot of people are going to be out of town. Um, you said it, AAA actually predicts that 71 million people will be traveling 4th of July weekend. So a lot of neighborhoods and communities have moved everything up to the weekend before, even as early as this Friday, the 28th. Wow. Now on Culture Map, yeah, we have two big lists of the top 4th of July events, one on our Dallas site and one on our Fort Worth site, and we've broken them down by date so you can actually keep track of when everything is happening. Now what are some of the celebrations and fireworks happening early this year that people might be surprised to know and, and why are they happening so early? Well, the prize for the earliest in town goes to Mansfield for Mansfield Rocks Independence Day weekend, which actually lasts a whole week. Uh, this one starts this Friday, the 28th, with a Taylor Swift tribute band. They'll also have free concerts and festivities all week, culminating in the fireworks show on July 3rd. Now, Mansfield's next door neighbor, Arlington, has their big event light up Arlington the next day, Saturday, June 29th, mm -hmm. with live music, uh, festivities, fireworks uh, th that night. But they're actually holding their Independence Day parade on the 4th. So they are using both weekends for all of their stuff. Um, another biggie that a lot of people go to is the Clyde Warren Park. Park Independence Day celebration. That's also on the 29th. And that, of course, will feature summer treats, patriotic music, games, and a big pyrotechnic display for the grand finale that night. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about these celebrations starting so early, Stephanie. Listen, we know we have a great fireworks uh, show in DFW, but are there any 4th of July events for people who may be sensitive to them or for people to take pets to that are scared of those fireworks? Yes. Yeah, so, of course, on the 3rd and the 4th, we will have all kinds of fireworks this place. Kaboom Town, Fort Worth's 4th, uh, Fair Park 4th. The bombs will be bursting in, in air all over town on the 3rd and the 4th. But for those who might have uh, sensitivities uh, to noise, people or pets, Look for, on July 3rd, the Sound at Cypress Waters in North Dallas. They are going to have their annual sensory-sensitive 4th of July celebration. Now, this is really cool. It does provide a fun and safe alternative to uh, people and pets who deal with noise sensitivity. New for this year, instead of traditional fireworks, they are going to have what they call a star-spangled glow. Oh. They are going to pass out LED bracelets to attendees, and they're going to be synchronized uh, to create kind of an immersive light display. It sounds really cool. Uh, they're also going to have a Taylor Swift tribute band, animal education, uh, Dallas Symphony Orchestra petting zoo, disc dog demonstrations, and more. Again, that's July 3rd at the Sound at Cypress Waters. So that's a really cool different kind of yeah, thing to Stephanie, check out. There's of course, a lot we have going on. Yes, there's yeah. a lot going on. That's probably why they're starting early, right? Um, like oh, Stephanie so had much. mentioned, Stephanie, thank you. Culture Map has this list on their website so that you can check it out. They do have a link on your screen right now so that you can go in and go through the scroll through and see what you want to go to. Um, and then we'll also have that on our website at WFA.com. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us. Hey, thanks, Cleo. Have a great day. You too. Coming up